Amen. Wade in the water. Brother Mike Viana, why don't you come up here for a second? I feel like I should be getting in there too, but uh, it's not big enough. Okay. Read a scripture, any scripture except that one. Any, anyone except that? Yeah. All right, Acts 22, 15 and 16. You will be a witness for him to every one of what you have seen and heard. And now, what do you wait? Rise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on his name. And now, why delay? Get up and be baptized and have your sins washed away by calling upon his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Brother Tom, come on up. Read a scripture, any scripture. Let us all the house, let's see, Acts 2, verse 36. Let all the house of Israel know surely that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And he said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Um, Peter said to them, repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of the Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory you to God. shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 It's your turn, sister. How do you know I know how to read? Do you know how to read? <laughs> read one of these two, okay? okay. You, know, you know that the baton which unites us in Christ, we are all baptons and plugged into death. By his baptisms and death, we will burn with Christ and as Christ was raised from among the death by the glory of the Father. So we begin walking in a new life. A new life. Hallelujah. Thank you, sister. I like that one. In baptism, which unites us to Christ, we are all baptized and plunged into his death. Hallelujah. Why are we baptized and plunged to his death? So we can be raised to new life. Amen? So we can be raised to new life. Hallelujah. Sister, it's time to wade in the water. Amen. Do you got that camera going up there? All right, you got a close up? All right. I got you. I got you. I got you. There you go. We need, do we have a stepladder or anything for her to get out? <laughs> Sheet of paper. <laughs> All right. So I want you to get down into the tub. Get comfortable. All right. You're going to sit on your bum. Feet out in front of you. All right. There you go. Is it cold? No. Don't dunk before I dunk you. I'm the dunker here. Okay. I'm the dunkie. <laughs> <laughs> now, just so, for those of you who don't know Marie, we do this nursing home ministry at Heritage Healthcare, and uh, she's been coming ever since I can remember. And I'm like, where'd this lady come from? She isn't at Heritage, she's coming in. And, you know, I, I found out the story, but um, always assumed she was an adult believer, you know, just who she is. And come to find out that she really isn't going to church she, you know, she, she really hasn't advanced in, in her faith. Um, and it's not really of any fault of her own, other than obviously we all have responsibility. But she just hadn't found a, a place to call home, you know. And um, over time, she decided to give us a spin. <laughs> and the Lord placed her here. And that's, you know, when the Lord places you, you know, you know. And, um, and it's just been a blessing for her. It's been a blessing for us. And she makes really good pasta salad. <laughs> so my sister was baptized as a child, right? Yes. Into Seventh-day Adventists. All right. And um, after being here a little bit, she realized that, you know, maybe this is something that she needs to do. You know? And uh, was that first baptism valid? In, uh, I don't know, because I can make an argument against Seventh-day Adventists. And that's not what this is about. What this is about is dedicating your life to the Lord. 
And, and what that song symbolizes and what this symbolizes is her going down into the waters Absolutely. of death, yes. dying. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a um, physical proclamation of an inside work that the Lord has done. And she's dying to herself. Marie is going down and Jesus Christ is coming out yes. through Marie. And, and that's what the Bible says. Is now we let him live through us. It doesn't mean you're not going to make mistakes doesn't mean you become perfect in your flesh. But in Christ Jesus, you are perfect. You are clothed with the white robe of righteousness. Amen? So, my sister Marie. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Amen. You do? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I sure do. Is he your Lord and Savior? Amen, yes. Okay. Do you believe that he is God himself? Yes. Amen. The Son of God? Yes. Okay. Do you believe that he died for your sins? Yes. By suffering on the cross for you? Yes. Do you believe that he rose again on the third day? Yes. And that he now sits on the right hand of the Father in heaven? Yes. Amen. Have you set yourself to live for him? Yes. Have you set yourself to let all that's in you that is not of him die? Yes. That he might conform you to his very image? Yes. Do you believe that you are his bride? Yes. Amen. Yes. Then, Marie, there's no reason why I can't baptize you, <laughs> baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. What I want you to do, do you, if you want, plug your nose. Take your other hand and make a fist on your chest, because I'm going to hold that. Marie, in, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I now baptize you into the family of faith. Hallelujah. Dead in Christ, alive again. Praise the Lord. 